Well, anyone who's ever sat in traffic during downtown Toronto's infamous rush hour can attest to the fact that there is a serious lack of space in the city. Public space, private space, road space, any kind of space in Toronto is so incredibly valuable. So it makes sense that a lot of attention now is focused on smart urban planning and making better use of the hand that we've been dealt. One way to do this is through laneways. Laneways are all over downtown Toronto. They're a bit more prevalent in the eastern and western ends. They kind of disappear in the city core from Young to University, but that is one creative solution. Toronto has over 2,400 separate laneways and they measure over 250 kilometers of public space, which is equivalent from almost here to Niagara Falls. Right now, businesses and residents who have access to laneways use them as neighborhood shortcuts, parking space, spillover from things like workshops and garages, make street art in them, they have parties and such. Unfortunately, they're also used very commonly as a place to dump garbage and for some late night emergency washroom breaks. The Laneway Project is a community run organization that's looking to change the city's blind eye stance on the potential of laneways. It's not just all talk though. The project is currently working on two pilot projects to improve laneways in conjunction with two other local communities. They're hoping that the project will act as a much needed model for new development in laneways and demonstrate the much hyped potential for what a laneway can be. The first one is the CCBG laneway. It's located just southwest of Dundas and Dufferin. The second one is Reggae Lane, which is near Young and Eglinton. So as a wrap, laneways have untapped potential when planned and designed effectively. They can be an integral part of our public realm. Laneways can offer extensive cultural, economic, social, health, and environmental benefits. They can play a role in creating engaging, lively, and richly textured places where people, not just Torontonians, want to live, work, visit.